Welcome back for another update. It's your grow buddy. We got a lot going on. Um, I wanted to show you how these roots are doing on all these tomato plants. If you're using the crack key method, it's really important you keep a good air gap. So that's why I use my, you know, float valve system to keep a complete, you know, steady air gap that's just constantly trickling in as the plants drink water. These tomato plants are constantly getting nutrients. I got a 20 gallon reservoir here. Now, what I do is I let it fill up with RO water, as you can see. And with 20 gallons of uh, RO water, you're gonna be wanting to put 75 mils of the general hydroponics, bloom, micro, grow, and also another 75 mils of CalMag, UC roots, and hydrogen peroxide. I've been getting good results running that throughout the entire plant growth. So I don't do any modifications. Um, I just run that the entire time. I swap nutrients every two weeks. Every two weeks I drain my buckets and all the tomato plants get a brand new set of nutrients. So all these lines just keep trickling in the nutrients inside and everything's just doing so good. We got some tomato plants in here that are all harvested right now. So looking really good. Now, sorry for the lack of footage. We're gonna start a new channel where I'm gonna show you all the tomato plants, every single bit, the leaves, the flowers. But for now, we're gonna be keeping this channel simple so that, you know, we can stay, you know, actually visible, if you know what I mean. Now, a couple of things. I'm gonna be doing a video on how to build a grow buddy from start to finish, and I'm gonna give you every part number so you can build these yourself if you don't wanna buy one from me. Another thing is if you wanna run RO water or nutrients through the net cup, it's not gonna affect your plant. It's not gonna affect the oxygen roots. Um, you're totally okay. I just changed nutrients on all these, and when I do, I put some RO water in here so that it has some water to drink while the bucket's empty. So that's how I've been doing it. I did a lot of experimenting, and it doesn't make a difference. So keep that in mind. You can put nutrients or water through the net cup itself, um, but I do change nutrients every two weeks on these tomato plants. So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, follow my Grow Buddy Greenhouse account on Instagram if you want to see everything, every single detail. All right. Stay tuned for the next episode where we build a Grow Buddy. Out for now.